Hey, my name is Attorney Walter Osnall III. I said in the prior video that we're going to be going through this, and they're the new types of Florida statute-based, um, you know, let's call them just titles for uh, the types of disabilities that your child might have. All right. My name is Attorney Walter Nott. Here we go. Well, let's first go over the 504 and IEP. 504s are basically those classes where they just add a specialized class on top of a normal class schedule, where there are normal classes plus a special class. IEP, Individualized Education Program, is basically where a person is in a totally different program, a totally different you know setup, and they're doing a you know special classes, multiple special classes, and that's their group, that's their program. Okay, you've got the ASD, which is the Autism Spectrum Disorder. You have the DHH, which is the Deaf or Hard of Hearing Disorder. You have the DD, the, the, the uh, excuse me, Developmentally Delayed Disorder. You have the DSI, the Dual Sensory Impairment. You have the E/slash BD, the Emotional Slash Behavioral Disability. You have the HH, Hospital Homebound. You have the IND, Intellectual Disabilities, the LI, Language Impairment, the OI, Orthopedic Impairment, the OHI, Other Health Impairment. You have the SLD, Specific Learning Disabilities, SI, Speech Impairment, TBI, Traumatic Brain Injury, and VI, Visual Impairment. Okay, and these kind of link up with the Florida Statute, which you can use to uh, reference what your student likely had. Now, remember, if you're referencing a student having these, and that basically means that um, you, you know, you're dealing with a younger individual because this statute really isn't that old. But if you're dealing with somebody who's like, you know, 45, 50, 60, 65, whatever, then you're going to be dealing with an older codex that deals with, you know, like I said before in the prior video, SLDs and EHs, slow learning disabilities and emotional handicaps, which are kind of these general categories that fit into this new spectrum, but obviously it's, it's, just, it's, it's a different system. So either way, my name is Attorney Walter, if not the third, I'm with Disability Resolution PA. You have an absolutely wonderful day. And remember, by the time you watch this video, the information may be old hat. And also please remember that um, if you have a unique question for your unique claim, uh, for your unique claim, give me a call, I'll walk through it. And also remember, if this video helped you in any way, please go to Avo and leave a five-star review. Five-star review, five-star review, okay? I've recently started caring about what Avo thinks about me because apparently it's all over the web that Avo exists and blah, 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 and it's becoming a standard. I think its rating system is terrible and completely wrong and horrible, but alas, people are using it. So I'll catch you later and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks so much, bye-bye.